I need to pull up a little yeah, bit. Pull up a little bit. All right, good morning. Hey, it's the start of a new week. And uh, got a little bit of rain, and it's foggy, and some snow, and we are over dropping that wild cow that we got in um, over here at the fairgrounds where it's a sheriff's impound. They impound cows here as well, the sheriff's office does. And then they take them from here, and we had some comments that just kind of ask a little bit about these cows and what we do with them. and. Um, if they're worth uh, keeping and branding and turning back out those kind of things and so wanted to just show you what she's like <laughs> a little bit mis misleading when you see her just go right into the crowd with our other cows and everything looks good this is what they turn into once they get in captivity and why they're not good to keep around I'm gonna turn the camera around I'll show you They are like wild. Um, they have not been corralled or contained at all. And so once you start trying to work with these cattle or get them in a bunch, this is what they turn into. And a lot of times they won't even, they won't even eat or drink when they're in, uh, when you've got them kind of corralled. And so, you know, we put her in the corral Saturday um, and it has to be a big, strong pipe corral and she hasn't eaten or drinking since we put her in there. Um, that's just how these things go. I mean, she's been wild her, her whole life. And uh, so not animals that we want in our herd or that we want to have to deal with in the future. So we impound her here at the, with the sheriff's office. They uh, do their due diligence and trying to figure out who she belongs to and it, if they can't, they will take her to the sale barn. Um, and she will sell at the sale barn and probably uh, be turned into hamburger. That's my guess. But you can see, like, she's, uh, you, if you got even close to that <laughs> fence, <laughs> she'll want to kill you. <laughs> you know? And we put her in a tiny pen here so that she'd have less room to jump and and things but yeah just not a not a good deal not something you want in your your herd anyway that's what what we're doing this morning dropping her off so we can go back and get to work <laughs> to find some more of the fun ones <laughs> yeah yeah we we were pretty lucky uh the way that she got in we we were pretty much for sure we'd have to rope her and get her out of there um but yeah the way that she got with those cows and just went right in and made it look a lot easier than it actually is uh, and my guess is she might even be bred because there's wild bulls on that river too and so you just don't want that in your herd all right we got to get back to work Okay, so got that cow dropped off and now Jaden and I are down checking out a spring that we have down here that I think the cows got into and broke the pipe that needs to be fixed. And so we're kind of hiking down into a place, seeing what we need to do. Uh, this week is gonna be a little bit like that. We've just got some odds and ends things that we've gotta get taken care of and fixed and so it'll be a little bit different video um, but after this we also have a cow that we saw up here last oh it was last Friday I saw her and uh, she was really thin and did not look good uh, she's an old cow and I think she's just having a hard time ranging down here so we're gonna go check on her and we might have to get her and take her into town but that's kind of what we're doing today. But I'll turn this around, camera around, and show you this spring. Okay, so the spring starts right there where you can kind of see that pipe and stuff. 
and it's got some black plastic under it where people have worked on collecting water and that pipe runs down there you can see that white pipe right there that surfaces and you can see where the cows broke it and then where they broke it again and the water from the spring is running in the bottom of this creek and and right down there there's a big holding tank that runs to another trough a blue trough you can see on the other side and then a big pond right there is the overflow and so we just need to take a look at this and see what we've got to do to get this thing working and get it fixed so we're just going to kind of check it out here for a minute okay yeah water's running right out of this boy and you can see where these cows have just pounded this down right here and ruined everything and broke it but yeah look check this out look at that water right there so that doesn't seem like a lot of water but down here that's a lot of water <laughs> and uh gives these cows something to drink so the pipes all broke up right there they just tromped it okay and then it came right there it's broke again right there you can see and broke again right here okay okay and then that pipe comes down and runs into this big holding tank which is not very good right now um, then it runs out this other side and down into a trough valve in there coming out and then it's piped down through here to a float box let's have a float valve in it huh that's got a little bit of water in the bottom of it but the float is completely gone so that's not working and then it goes into this trough huh. okay well we've got to fix that pipe up there and uh, then come and put a new trough in here and get this thing where it's working again So this cow is standing back up here in the same place we saw her last week and not looking good, but she's right there. I'll, I'll turn the camera around. I'll kind of show you what we're going to do. Okay, the cow is right up there. Red, white faced cow. You can see on the fence. And we're going to bring her right back down here, right along this fence. And it's kind of a little thing that we've used to get cows in that works pretty good. But I, I'll kind of tell you what we're going to do. Um, we're actually going to bring her down the fence. Well, we'll set it up and then I'll show you. That'll be way easier. Okay, so over the years we've learned a few things. One is, is that if you set panels up going straight into a corral, like straight on like this, really hard to get the cows to go in. They can see that and they just don't want to go into it. So we kind of do this. We use two panels. We hook one onto the trailer, make a little corner right here, one onto the fence. And then we'll actually bring the cow around the truck like this. And we use a truck as a wing. And uh, we'll turn her right up in here like this. We got the fence along this side. And then she goes right down there and, and she can't get away from us. That's the theory anyway, <laughs> and it works most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't, but um, th that's just how we found easy way to load them. They kind of think they're getting away from you and they'll run back along the trailer and act like they're gonna head up the fence. And they come right around here and they have to go right in the trailer. So that's what we do.
Okay, so she's standing right here in the corner. You can see she does not look real good. She needs to go get some groceries for sure, but she just looks kind of old to me and uh, she's just kind of having a rough time out here this, this winter for some reason. So we're gonna take her home. Yeah, it just doesn't look well. Got some sticky stuff on her tail too. She might be have some kind of infection. All right. Oh, that works exactly how it's supposed to work right there. Tail, she's she smells bad and she can't breathe good. I don't know if you can hear her breathing or not. I don't really don't want to rope her. We're going to try to just ease her up in here and see if we can put her in. Because roping her would just take the top right off of her. There she goes. Okay. That was the way that was supposed to work. Yeah, I'll get her home and get her some medicine and if we can get her better. All right, Sean asked me to take a little bit of video this morning. So we are back out rewriting on Cedar Mesa again today. And so uh, I'm out on a place called Joshua um, and I dropped Sean off at this place called Sheik's. Uh, I had to drive the truck out because the road is pretty sloppy. So in the middle of the day it would be pretty hard to get the truck out so I dropped Sean off down there and I came to this uh, Joshua place and I actually just found uh, about 12 cows so I'm gonna head them towards the gate and uh, kick them down the country and then I'm gonna go back and see where Sean is and see if he's found any cows so I'll uh, get the camera flipped around and get these cows through the gate. Well, the freshest tracks that I've been able to find were not as fresh as I thought they were. They've actually been stormed in a little bit. That storm was yesterday, so um, nothing within the last 24 hours. Uh, but those tracks are headed on a trail going up out of here that... Uh, takes them up to this fence where we want them to go. So I'm just gonna keep riding and stay behind these tracks and see if they come out here at the gate where we need them to, need them to be. It's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Out here quite a ways in the trees and I hit some fresh tracks you can kind of see like right here in this snow that snow was yesterday so these are pretty fresh it looks to me like some right there too anyway so now I'm just gonna start tracking these out see if I can come up with them it's kind of cool these cows go to the same different places every year and so 
you know, I just had to barely bump them and they, they knew right where this trail was and they know right where the gate is they go through every year. And so um, they're headed that way now. You can see the gate down there, but yeah, this year when we brought them off the mountain, you just had to get behind them and bump them a little bit and they came right off on their own. Um, we just followed them down just to make sure everything made it. But uh, yeah. All right, they are headed through the gate. And so hopefully these cows will head down country and make it down to Slickhorn where we took a few other groups of cows. Um, if not, we'll go and pick them up here within the next few days or a week and take them down the rest of the way. Okay, I've been tracking these cows for maybe an hour, an hour and a half and freshen the tracks up and i think i found some of them right here yep i sure did all right let's see how many we got looks like we got a good bunch actually good find okay we're gonna get around them and hit them in the right direction okay just getting around all of them looks like i got six Cows right here, but boy, they're way back in here. Clear up in these rims. Kind of an odd place for them to be, but I'm gonna see if I can get them out here on the road and head them um, south. The direction we're going. Jaden, he's also found some cows and he's up at that gate putting them through the gate. So good find today. Good, good deal. Okay, I got them out to a road, but they're kind of running on me a little bit. You can see them way up the road. I'm just taking pressure off them so they don't keep running, but uh, it's not like they're hard to track. <laughs> Ground's wet, boy, you can see their tracks right in the road. So I don't think I'm gonna lose them unless they all split up, then I'll be in trouble. Um, but if they'll just kind of keep going, we'll be all right. I'm probably oh, three miles from the pavement. And uh, so hopefully they'll just stay right on this little two track road here and we'll get out to the pavement. Well, we're almost to the highway here, the pavement. Cows found a little spot of rock water. Thirsty, getting a drink. Anyway, we're not too far now from that gate. We're probably, oh, maybe a mile and a half from the gate. So we're just about to get there.
right, they're through the gate. Good deal. All right, had to stop for our donut run this morning before we get going. Get the horses loaded. Ready to go for the day. Hey, good morning. Well, we are out uh, back in that place where we pushed these cows last week, I think. A place called Cigarette. And everything we pushed way down in there, <laughs> nine miles, came back out to the, the highway. And so we've had... Sorry, just had the radio going on right there for a minute. But anyway, we've... We've come back out here and we're taking these cows back down the country, but they really scattered. They knocked down a fence down in here and just went a long ways. And so we're just working hard to get these cows to back together to get them on the road. And then we're going to push them back where they're supposed to be. And then we got to go fix the fence. Um, but man, it's just discouraging, you know, you go to a lot of work and uh, then the uh, cows just kind of ruin it all for you but anyway that's what we're doing this morning and uh hoping we can get get these cows together and get them down here on some water and some supplement and maybe they'll stay okay so i'm kind of holding these cows on the road um and kent and his and owen and nate are here helping us this morning and taryn and and kent is coming up with a few more cows to get with these and then Taryn went back to re-ride some country because we're missing about 10 cows. And so anyway, he's re-riding back there and we're just trying to get everything together. But beautiful day today, just beautiful. Best day we've had in a long time. We had some storm here a couple of days ago, some snow and some rain. And um, anyway, it's just kind of warmed up and the storm blew out and the sun's out today. And man, nice day, probably 40 degrees. That's pretty, pretty good for us. Okay, so we're still gathering these cows up. We've got some that have split on us and they're out here in these trees, running through the trees. And we're just having a really hard time getting them gathered back up. So that's what we're doing right here, just tracking Taryn. He called me on the radio. He's got three cows that have run on him and he's clear out on a rim up here on the edge of a canyon. So anyway, we're just kind of spread all over trying to gather cows here. And uh, you can see these tracks I'm following in front of me. I'm trying to catch up with these and I don't know where they're going, but they're this mornings and they're running. You can tell they're really hard in the hitting hard in the mud here. Okay, so here's the latest on our cow moving and gathering efforts this morning. Um, the tracks I was on, I got them, I kind of caught up to those tracks just about the time they got in with the bunch that Kent and his boys have that are coming down the road. So those all got together. 
the cows at Terran is on, they really like left the country. They were moving and Terran stayed with them and he finally has them held up, but he's out in front of us probably three miles. And uh, he's been through the trees and I guess just had a heck of a run down through there, but he's got these cows held up and they're actually up here at those water troughs that we set up. He's got them to that point. And anyway, they're way in front of us. So um, that's, he's gonna hold them there if he can. And we're gonna get this other bunch of cows over to him. And um, anyway, I'm out in the trees and just got around some tracks, making sure we're in front of everything. And then I'm gonna ride back and get the truck and meet these guys down the country. But good grief, sometimes cows can be so stinking ignorant. Uh, for whatever reason, they just decide they're gonna scatter and run and there's not a whole lot you can do about it unless you've got about 40 dogs that can bunch them. <laughs> or maybe two good dogs. <laughs> In my case, I'd have to have 40. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of what's gone on this morning. And, uh, but we're about to get everything together. Oh, almost back to the trailer. I'm riding Duke today. And I'll tell you what, we have made some tracks this morning. Um, the ground is pretty soft, as you can see, kind of muddy. And we've covered a lot of ground and Duke's worked up a little bit of a sweat. Uh, but man, what a good horse. My goodness. It's, uh, just a real blessing and privilege to be able to ride such a good horse and he is just quiet and calm and gentle and just goes where he needs to go and gets the work done and so anyway he's uh off the pitzer ranch he's out of a horse called mr baron jewels which was out of mr baron red and um he is six years old so we're just grateful to have such a good horse. Okay, I can see the trailer. And I can see these other guys have ridden down this road. Their tracks are going down the road. And they're in front of me. Okay, good deal. All right, he's worked hard. Need to put him in the trailer and give him a break. Let him, let him ride in the trailer for a little ways. He's earned it. All right, here comes Taryn. We're gonna have a little bit of lunch. We got those cows to some water, but the two cows he was chasing, they're, he said they just kind of trotted off again. So I might have to go find them. Your horse is sweating. Yeah, I know. This is an hour later even. Can you tell what they did? They go like that? Yeah, you can see their tracks right here on the ground. Where they went off the road. Yeah, you see the tracks go right here. <clears throat> anyway, we'll go see if we can find them. Okay, got the cows a drink right here. And uh, this is just an old, old corral. It's been here for a long time and uh, probably has not been used in 20 or 30 years, maybe longer, I don't know. But it's clear down on this point the road's pretty rough getting here and so maybe that's why nobody's used it but um, anyway we are going to take these cows and push them out to some good feed out here and we're going to push them uh, a little farther than we did the other day and try to get them on some supplement that we've set out here too so uh, uh, that's what we're gonna do
Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I'll get it. I got it. I got it. Kent's riding his colt today, and it sounds like he might be having a little bit of a rodeo down here. Oh, he's got his rope. Took his rope down, and maybe the horse wasn't quite ready for it. <laughs> what happened, Owen? I don't know, actually. The horse just take off, got a little spooked to that rope. <laughs> it wasn't, I don't think it was a rope. It just kind of took off, and it looked like he was about to rear up, rear up on it. Oh. All right. Colt's been doing super good all day. Just got a little froggy right there for a minute. <laughs> okay, we've got these cows down into here where the feed starts to turn good and we put them on some supplement, and they know where that's at too. I'll show you this liquor that we set out right over here. But this is where we're gonna leave the cows. Hopefully they're happy and hopefully they stay. They don't go back up to the highway. All right, should we go? I'm gonna ride back to the truck. And I'll show you this supplement tub. This is kind of what we put out here when we can, places that we can drive to. But this is, uh, it's liquid and it holds, I don't know, 200 gallons probably. Um, or maybe it's a hundred gallon, but it's got a wheel, those black wheels right there on it. And they dip down into that liquid and the cows eat that and it's a really good supplement does really good a lot of good for them all right we are getting geared up to take our fencing supplies down this fence line where these cows have broke the fence down and uh, fix fence. That's the last thing to do today. <laughs> now we'll be done. We'll call it a week. Let's go see if we can find this place. Okay, we found where all the cows broke the fence and got through. So now we're just putting it back up. We've already kind of got it standing up, but you can see all their tracks that came through right there. And they went down and right around. But I think we're getting it up enough. They're not going to do it again. So anyway, we're just about to get it. Okay, that's a wrap for the week. Got another busy week next week. So we hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you then.